Tidebers. It's going to be on, so it's not important. So, anyways, it has to be about, a, about YouTube again. So, a nice big ass YouTube, like a big ass cigar. So, anyway, something about YouTube, which is kind of damn important, which is basically uh, there are certain words on YouTube, obviously, uh, they are more important than others when it comes to uh, cursing or swearing in terms of your monetization, uh, the quote unquote dreaded yellow dollar sign. And in terms of, obviously, there's strong profanity, moderate profanity, light profanity, extreme profanity. And I want to talk about right now moderate profanity, which is not light but not strong. And certain Certainly not extreme, and how YouTube really doesn't care anymore about this kind of stuff. I'm not saying they don't care. What I'm saying is YouTube has kind of made it clear as of a few months ago, you can use these type of words um, a lot more frequently in your video and still get full monetization. You know, get the green dollar sign, which means suitable for all ads, you know, safe for all ads. And basically, these two words, the examples they give for moderate profanity, meaning not strong but not light, and certainly not extreme, are shit and bitch. So shit and bitch are apparently now perfectly fine to use even in the opening of the video. So the opening is the most important because that's when the ad is running and since YouTube is trying to be more like TV, uh, they want to avoid strong profanity in the first 30 seconds. But apparently you can say shit and bitch in the first 30 seconds and you can say shit and bitch and you know, after the opening as much as you want. Same thing with a uh, light, light profanity like damn and hell or, you know, pissed off or crap or crud or sucks, you know, or whatever, uh, you know, shoot or darn. It's totally fine to say. So apparently advertisers aren't really concerned anymore about words like shit and bitch. So I can say shit as much as I want, you know, or bitch as many times as I want. Uh, they're still concerned about uh, strong profanity, which is the F word, the word fuck or motherfucker, you know, uh, you know, the F word and the MF word, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, they're, they're still concerned about that. In the first 30 seconds, you're limited to saying it up to two times. So in the first 30 seconds, you want to get it safe for all ads, you know, the green dollar sign. You can only say the F word, you know, strong profanity. Uh, only up to two times and then after the opening it's open season you know you can say as much as you want so uh, I'm obviously at two minutes and 30 seconds almost two minutes and 30 seconds uh, so I can say the F word as, as much as I want so the word fucker motherfucker so uh, anyway um, obviously extreme profanity which is slurs like the C word the N word uh, you know, the K word for Jewish people you know the all that kind of nasty, you know, crap, that nasty shit, you know, obviously still off limits, you know, no advertiser wants to be associated with, um, hateful, you know, hateful slurs, you know, quote unquote, you know, hateful slurs. But in terms of moderate profanity, uh, like shit and bitch, YouTube doesn't care anymore. It still doesn't show up in the subtitles, and that's more evidence that YouTube is trying to be more like TV when they, you know, they censor out, you know, profanity in the titles, the, the subtitles, the subtitles, the closed captions of the video. So obviously, you know, it doesn't show up. So, you know, more evidence that YouTube's trying to be a little bit more like TV or whatever, that kind of crap. So, but anyway, it's kind of good to know because now, you know, people can be, you know, rest at ease and, you know, obviously big time partners are not going to take the risk, you know, because it's their livelihood. It's their entire, you know, their life, you know, it's their fucking living. So obviously they're not, they're not going to take the risk and big time partners are still going to censor it out. But I mean, if they wanted to, they could, but I mean, they're just not going to take the risk because, you know, their entire uh, career is YouTube. So obviously for me, YouTube it's not a career. It's not a living. It's just a fucking hobby. So it's just like stamp collecting or coin collecting. It's just a fucking hobby. So anyway, pretty fucking cool. Bye.